Hello, hello everyone. Hi guys, uh, how is going? Uh, welcome back. Another uh, another tutorial. Um, so, uh, in this video, I am going to uh, explain a little bit uh, the main differences between uh, Ethera Gold and Elements because uh, I think this is uh, important. Of course, if you have uh, Ethera Gold, uh, you know, you know this library. Uh, and uh, but maybe you you are asking uh, if there are some overlaps, for example. Uh, and if you don't know Ethera series or Ethera Gold, uh, this video. Uh, maybe uh, it's useful for you to understand uh, the differences between elements and Ethera Gold, maybe if you have elements. So, of course, uh, first of all, uh, the, 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 the big, big difference between these uh, two libraries uh, is that Ethereum series in general, but in this case, Ethereum Gold 2.5, is a vocal library the the the, the core uh, of this uh, of this library is uh, of course the vocals because you know is a vocal library the, there is a fantastic uh, uh, true legato uh, with five articulations a uh, really powerful true legato, true legato perfect uh, to create epic music in general and uh, you know there are a lot of videos about um, about these libraries uh, but uh, of course if you don't know just a little a little preview so it's a, an amazing true legato different uh, uh, different articulation A E U O Epic U, which is really really powerful to create a big epic melody. So it's absolutely outstanding. There are uh, vocal phrases. There is an instrument with a lot of vo vocal phrase. There is also the male vocals. And, you know, it's a fantastic vocal library. But Ethereum Gold is uh, absolutely a big library. So inside there are also an hybrid section with some powerful uh, hybrid synth. And... Uh, I'm talking of uh, this hybrid synth. In this case, uh, I, I loaded the, the core synth, which is the one of the synth included in Ethereum Gold 2.5, and maybe it's the uh, it's a it's it's an hybrid synth that uh, you, you you can see now. Uh, this synth has. Uh, a little bit of similar thing to element of course elements is a uh, first of all an upgraded engine version and and the big difference is the wave ROM because the content of these two libraries uh, is absolutely different uh, we have three layers, of course, but the content, the samples are absolutely different. And also the features are different because, uh, uh, first of all, uh, Elements uh, has this panel, uh, which is uh, absolutely powerful with a lot of uh, controls to change the sound, you know. And uh, But there are also some little, a little bit small uh, differences between uh, these two libraries for example the audio engine is not the same uh, we have speed we have the time stretching in these uh, libraries in ethera gold but uh, works in a different way uh, we don't have order and the spectra filter but we have grain and smooth which are uh, a little bit uh, another thing now i i give you an example 
Then we don't have a learn key range, uh, we don't have input quantize, the layer uh, FX uh, work a little, works a little bit different, different and uh, the, the assignable table uh, works a little bit different because in this case uh, we have the uh, pre-assigned uh, controls. Uh, in Theragol 2.5 we have a MIDI control change and we, we can uh, uh, assign this control change to any controls, but it's a little bit different because in this in, with element is maybe more easy. Uh, with uh, Hethera Gold, you have to understand a little bit better how to use this uh, assignable table. Anyway, just an example, uh, for example, uh, uh, just an example of grain and smooth. Now I load. Um, let me start from, from an init, of course, also a Thera Gold, Gold Core Synth has a lot of presets, has a, also a special version chiama, uh, called uh, Cyber World, uh, and maybe I show you, but I would, I would like to start from an init, um, let me start, uh, let me show you, uh, I don't know, a really simple sound. Okay, let me start from a synth just to uh okay i move this one okay okay i set all in enough Okay, so for example, let me show you the how uh, how works this uh, this uh, time stretching uh, time stretching engine in Ethergold. So as you can see, the speed is different because in Element you in Ethergold you can create a completely freezed sound. And elements as a different time stretching. Uh, if you set the time stretching to zero, you don't have a completely freezed sound. It's uh, the 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 factory the factory state is a statement. It's the factory position. In elements to have the, the a freezed sound you have uh, to have a time stretch the sound sorry you have to set the time stretching to the maximum value but you don't have a freezed sound you have a, a stretched sound but not freezed okay so it's uh, a different type of time stretching in uh, in a hetera in a hetera gold you have a frizzed sound okay so this is this feature allows different kind of sound then we have two different controls here grain and smooth and works of course in combination uh, with the speed uh, now I, I, I give you an example of grain. Okay, and smooth. So it's really, really different from elements. Let me know, let me try with another sound.
and this is uh, absolutely outstanding because uh, it's, it's a little bit similar to to a, a um, granular synth. In particular, when you uh, use, for example, this uh, uh, grain speed and smooth in combination with offset and with the arpeggiator. Let me show you. Now I create an arpeggiator here. I click on enable and now I play. Maybe I set the uh, this um, polyphonic uh, mode. Okay. Now listen if I move the offset. this kind of uh, of granular synth uh, is possible with this um, this time type of engine okay Another, uh, another uh, difference is uh, the layer 2. Uh, in elements, uh, uh, layer 1, layer 2 and the layer 3 are the same uh, and, and uh, they have the same engine. The only difference is that layer 1 has for some samples the legato mode, but the engine is the same. It's the same. In uh, Ethera Gold uh, core synth, uh, there are some differences between uh, the layers because, for example, layer one use the use the time machine, so uh, as a this kind as a, a normal uh, normal engine with time stretching, etc., etc. Layer two is different because layer two has the formant engine, and this is uh, a little bit different. And you can use, for example, the form to have this sound. Okay, of course. 
because you can create an automation with MIDI Learn, it's the same. Yeah, let me show you the also as uh, in a, a course int uh, works the assignable table. In the elements, we have these controls here. Uh, in uh, Theragold, uh, you can use these MIDI control change here. For example, if I want to create an automation of offset with this, uh, with this assignable table, I, I have to know the the control change here and if don't have any midi control change you can create with midi learn in this case i've control change uh, midi control change number three uh, so now if i go here and i set number three here and click as for elements on go and lock it and i select a time mode maybe i create this uh, uh, also the step are different there is a different resolution in elements Netheragos, gold sorry. now i created this automation here so absolutely a different uh, type of engine It's powerful as its powerful elements engine, uh, but you can create a different sound. I think another big difference is the wave room because uh, elements has a lot, you know, of uh, uh, acoustic instrument uh, as the cello, a lot of classic guitar, <coughs> electric guitar, tribal percussion, and. Um, so it's a little bit uh, maybe more organic as uh, as a wave room. Uh, yeah, there are some synth, but in general, <coughs> all the synth sound as well. Uh, um, I created this uh, synth sound uh, starting from anyway acoustic instruments. So it's a little bit more organic. And uh, element uh, Theragold core synth. Uh, uh, has uh, some acoustic uh, sound but in general has a little bit of more synth sound uh, um, but anyway it's absolutely outstanding uh, for this reason I think there are not overlaps uh, absolutely for example there are <coughs> some uh, I don't know let me show you uh, some brass and brahms hybrid brahms hybrid brass uh, i don't know let me for example this one is useful or uh, some brahms sound Don't 
for example, there are <coughs> uh, there is uh, some uh, acoustic instrument. For example, there is a nice ukulele. So, uh, for example, let me show you, there is an Italian mandoline, mandoline very cool. Another, another preset. There are, uh, for example, also uh, buffalo harp sound. So there are a lot of uh, different sound inside these, uh, these libraries. For this reason, uh, I think th there are not overlaps. First of all, because, uh, of course, uh, Efera Gold is a vocal library, and this is... Uh, and this, this is absolutely the main, uh, the main difference. So if you go with Fera Gold, uh, probably you go first of all for the vocals. And then uh, you can discover also a lot of sound possibilities inside this, uh, uh, this library. In addition uh, to, to, do, to this, I think that the engine <coughs> of elements opens a lot of uh, different pos sound possibilities. For this reason, I think that these two libraries uh, works very, very well together. Absolutely. Of course, this is uh, the vocal, uh, um, vocal phrase engine, uh, you know. Of course, you know Efera Gold uh, vocal, vocal instruments. Uh, so I think that uh, these, these are the main differences between Elements and uh, Efera Gold synth. So there are not overlaps. Uh, <clears throat> for example, in Elements, remember, you have a lot of... Uh, uh, really really nice sound for example all the cello section is absolutely outstanding and i think uh, <laughs> this uh, this section uh, could be a different uh, a standalone library maybe a texture cello library And you have inside the elements with uh, a lot of other instruments. For example, in elements, in a, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> in uh, Fera Gold, there are a uh, pretty nice uh, strings category <clears throat> with a nice texture, and uh, I think that works very well combined with this cello <coughs> cello sound let me try uh, no no okay this one
set a different BPM, ok. Let me try for example with some uh, sequence just to create mm, sequence here and Of these strings <coughs> texture so of course I think you can create a lot of uh, fantastic modern uh, sound, uh, combine these two different uh, libraries together. A uh, really big uh, and, wi and uh, wide uh, <coughs> wave room. Absolutely. Remember that, uh, of course, in uh, Theragold there are also the expansion called the Cyber World uh, with a little bit of more uh, <coughs> cyberpunk sound. I created <coughs> a video for, uh, for that sound on my YouTube channel and on the Zero G web cha uh, YouTube channel. of trailer sound you can create a lot of Q trailer Q with uh, these two libraries
me try uh, maybe hybrid category possibilities.
a lot, a lot of possibilities. Reset. Okay, I love this uh, <coughs> hybrid brass from Ethera Gold, for example. I want to try with a uh, cello processed, uh, maybe this one. Let me try. can uh, <coughs> try a lot of uh, possibilities with, the, with this true library.
So anyway, uh, in this uh, in this uh, last tutorial, I think last uh, last one, just an example uh, on uh, how you how you uh, how to use these uh, two libraries together because. Uh, of course, if you have a uh, Heferagol 2.5 and then you uh, you go with, uh, uh, you take uh, elements, I think you have a, a really, really impressive arsenal of sounds to create anything. Uh, if we are talking of contemporary soundtracks, modern scoring, sound design, you have vocals, you have a hybrid sound, you have uh, uh, acoustic instruments, and you have two powerful libraries with a really uh, powerful engine. And this is, in my opinion, the big difference, uh, maybe with other libraries, because uh, uh, Ferragold, Corsint, Elements uh, are not a simple, uh, simple libraries where you load the presets or, or where uh, you load a sound and uh, you just play uh, you, you you can just play this sound you of course you can start from a preset but then uh, I think uh, uh, with a really powerful control with a lot of powerful controls but uh, also I think um, in an easy way it are simple are simple controls are not so hard to understand because uh, speed the grain smooth you have just to try and then you listen the, the sound differences and i think that uh, with only course in uh, vocal phrase for example instrument and the elements together you can create uh, an entire uh, queue a uh, complete uh, queue of a uh, i don't know of a uh, of a film, of a documentary, I don't know, uh, anything, are absolutely powerful. Okay, so I hope that, uh, as usual, this uh, little tutorial, it was helpful for you, and uh, thank, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.